Welcome to the Mindset Minute with Teresa Crowley. A short, focused conversation about staying emotionally and physically happy and healthy. Now, here is Teresa. Start and end each day with gratitude. By realizing just how important it is to be gracious, we're already starting our mind and our day off to a great start. In medicine, we talk about the ADLs, or activities of daily living, but everyone has a similar definition of that. I think sometimes we take each day's routine activities for granted, and it's even the smallest of these activities that we should find joy in the ability that we can perform them, because there are so many who cannot or are unable to do it, like tying your shoes or dressing oneself can be too difficult without help. I often ask myself, why were we doing so many cataract surgeries each day? I was told by the eye surgeon that if it's one thing that they can control, one thing that they enjoy, for example, reading or watching television, we are giving them a small part of their life back. Then at the end of the day, it's a whole different focus. For me, the gratitude is in just what I did for another. I want to look back on my day and remember a smile given to a stranger or a task completed for a family member or friend. You see, I want to think back on my day knowing that I had a positive effect on someone around me. I am also needing to look around me and see just how lucky I am. I have a home and food and clothing. I am trying not to watch too many things on television because I think they put an undue amount of stress on me, that I'm not good enough, or that I need more than I really do. I am increasingly lucky to have what I have, and counting a blessing or two will give me all the perspective that I need to give thanks and gratitude for. When I want to explain how great it is to have gratitude at the end of the day, I'm finding it hard, well, then I go back and I think of my dogs. I know, I know. Hang in there for a minute. I trudge out of the house each day and I have many experiences, some good, some not so good, but I come home to relax and I know that I have a comfortable place to call my own. My dog is always happy to see me, unaffected by the happenings of my day. He's just happy to know that the world is complete and that I get home to see them, feed them, and play and love them with all my might. I should look at the world with the innocent eyes as my dog does. As much as we can and reap the blessings of each day and each one with gratitude. Thank you for joining me. Thank you for listening. We look forward to you joining us weekdays on the Mindset Minute with Teresa Crowley.